It was helicopter crews first on the scene that witnessed the human devastation of the volcanic blast. Blue shirts off and clothing, uh, people were very extensively burned, blisters, um, you know, we were trying to transport them, the skin was coming off, uh, as we were holding people, um, it was uh, very, um, very horrific. New Zealand health officials say more than 20 people have severe burns over as much as 90% of their bodies. Australian patients are starting to be transferred back home as New Zealand's medical teams are pushed to their limits. The nature of the burn suffered is complicated by the gases and chemicals in the eruption. The number of burn patients and the complexity of their care has resulted in an extraordinary request. An additional 1.2 million square centimetres of skin for the ongoing needs of the patients. These supplies are coming from the United States. That's about 10 times the amount of skin kept at Canada's largest human tissue bank at Toronto's Sunnybrook Hospital. Sections of skin like this taken from deceased patients will be used to cover burns only temporarily until unaffected skin can be surgically removed from the patient and grafted on. So keep him overnight in emerge. This burn surgeon says it's critical to cover open wounds with donor skin really prevents you from losing fluids, electrolytes or have a risk of infection because the wound is not covered. So this is a tool to help patients to survive, particularly when you're big burn. Recovery for the victims of the New Zealand volcano will take several months. Harvesting skin, grafting it onto burn wounds and regrowing skin is an ongoing cycle which requires painstaking surgery and time. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.